Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm showing another Unity creation using the beautiful stamp set by Unity called August Gladiolus. And it's, it's a beautiful stamp. It's very large, covers almost the whole A2 size card base. And so I am making an envelope liner to stamp on and also the envelope I'm going to stamp on. And this is a pre-embossed, dry embossing um, using Simon Says Stamps embossing folder called Triangle Burst. And so I pre-embossed um, pre that, got it ready, and I die cut using my Creative Time Pretty Circle Layer Dies, that circle panel that's going to be in the background. And so I heat emboss this beautiful floral in gold embossing powder by Ranger. And I used Wow Embossing Ink to stamp it first before I embossed it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this pretty flower. I'm going to stamp it onto the panel for the envelope liner. I put the measurements in um, on this video, but you cut the liner at five and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches and score it at one quarter inch or to the size of the envelope that you're going to use. You just want to line it up below the tape line or the glue line of the envelope and measure where it's going to fit inside of the envelope partially and then land just below the glue line on the envelope. And so that will that will vary depending on the kind of envelope you have. Now I have an envelope for an A2 si A2 size card um, that I'm using. And so for the beautiful fl floral, I'm going to go ahead and add watercolor. I mixed pink and orange together to get more of a salmon look. I wanted more of a salmon look, so I used all new watercolors and just made a little palette there and mixed those colors and it was just what I wanted. And so I just go around the outline with a darker color and then once I finish the outlining, I just blend in the color towards the middle of each of those petals. Then I add a little teal along the leaf areas where I think there's leaves, not many there. So I go ahead and fill that in with a little darker specks in there. And I'm gonna go in with more pink along the edges of the petals. So, you know, it could be any color, any variation you wanted. I just wanted this soft look with a little more dark on the edges and lighter on the inside. And so the gold shimmers very nicely once it's heat set. And so here's the liner. I'm putting it in. I'm going to mark where the envelope fold line is, and I'm going to score at that line. Now, again, it would, might be different for each envelope that you're using and where the tape lies on the envelope. And so for this, I scored it at one and a quarter inches. And then I just fold it over and make sure that's a clean fold line. And I'm gonna line that up right to the fold line of the envelope. I erase the pencil marks and now I'm ready to just see where I wanna put it. And then I add adhesive onto that shorter score area there, just the top portion for that liner and then line it up to the fold line on the envelope and then you just go ahead and adhere that top part down and then you may want to score the outside of the envelope too just to make sure it's crisp it turns out so pretty um, i love it and so i stamped the front of the envelope also so it looks pretty on the outside and the inside and it's the same flower as the one we watercolored so I just layered that circle right onto that background panel that was dry embossed. And I'm gonna add foam tape for the flower and the sentiment just to add that on there to finish that card. So, so pretty. And then it's going to fit really nicely inside there um, to be a really nice gift for someone. I think this would be great for family. I hope you take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.